Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super Weight Watchers low carb friendly dinner idea and I'm also throwing in um, a recipe that I serve my husband who is following the Keto Atkins way of eating. So we are going to have two different ways of eating, two different recipes, super quick, super tasty, super affordable, and I hope you super like it. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I made. All right, so we're gonna get started on our Asian-inspired lettuce wraps. I'm thinking something along the lines of like a P.F. Chang's thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this one medium-sized onion, get that into smaller pieces. I have this bowl full of mushrooms. I'm also gonna dice those up. And I am going to just warm up my frying pan, spray it with a little bit of Pam, and I'm going to fry up my onions. All right, I'm just here making sure that the onions are cooked pretty well, kind of opaque, and I'm going to add in this lean ground turkey that I went ahead and picked up from Costco earlier in the week, and I am just going to cook it down. I am going to season it, you will see, with a little bit of garlic powder, and I'm also going to add about maybe three, three and a half tablespoons of coconut aminos. This is an awesome substitute, guys, for any type of soy sauce. So soy sauce has a lot of sodium, a lot of calories, sugar. The liquid aminos, you will not have any of that. And I believe they're zero points, and they taste so good. So I'm just going ahead and just sauteing the meat and the onions together with the sauce and the seasoning and just cooking it down. And then I am slowly going to add in the mushrooms and just basically cook everything down. So it kind of, you know, when you cook mushrooms, they become smaller and they give off some fluid. So I just let it all cook down and I'm just letting it all marinate, guys. So before the meat and the vegetables are all done, I'm going to top this with the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. This stuff is so good. It has a variety of like garlic salts, um, pepper, sesame seeds. It's super flavorful and it gives you that little bit of crunch that you will have sometimes with some kind of Asian inspired dishes. Here is just what I'm making, Leo. So I just wanted to give you kind of an idea. This is just ground uh, pork sausage and frozen broccoli, and I put it all in one pan, and now I'm adding a couple ounces of cream cheese. Very keto friendly, very, very low carb, and very flavorful and cheap. Here we go, I am going to start my crock pot. This is, or not my crock pot, my wok. This is my favorite little gadget that I have purchased from Ikea. I think I got it for like seven or eight bucks. And I got these stir fry um, vegetable blends from Costco also. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cook them down. These take a while, guys. So because I don't have a lid for my wok, I just top it with foil so it kind of steams. To show you guys what to show you guys what Leo is having for dinner. So I do know that it's kind of inconvenient to cook two different types of meals. But if you have someone in your family who is following keto or a low carb lifestyle, this is a quick, easy dinner. So it is basically like a one pan dish. It's breakfast pork sausage and it's the hot one. So it has a little bit of a kick to it. It is some that has no carbs in it. There's some fresh or frozen broccoli, I'm sorry, that has very, very low carbs in it. And then I mixed it with three ounces of cream cheese that is low carb and topped it with about a half a cup of shredded cheese and then just put the lid on 
and then let it melt all together and then he could have that as a meal. So very low carb, one pan dish, and everybody has something to eat. And so he'll eat this for dinner and then he'll take the rest for work the next couple days. So it's possible guys, just gotta be creative. So I'm starting on the vegetables now. They're pretty cooked through, so I'm showing you. I'm just seasoning them with the good old favorites of mine, some garlic, um, garlic powder, and I'm going to go ahead and use those coconut aminos again. A couple tablespoons, guys. Really just add it for taste and how you like it. And then I just put the foil back on and let it all cook down, and it comes out wonderfully every time. So here is how I am doing like kind of the meat. I'm thinking something like the Asian lettuce wraps. So this is actually going to be for Rhea, but um, so for four ounces of the ground turkey is four points. You got to consider the weight of the mushrooms. So I would probably weigh out five ounces for one serving, honestly. But yeah, so you just go ahead and eat them like this and you just roll them up and just like this or you could even uh, like top them with a little bit of like spicy mustard or sweet and sour sauce or the soyaki, like, whatever you guys had allotted in your points or honestly guys, they taste fine just like this and they're really good, especially for the summer because they're not so heavy, but they just like hit the spot. And then on the side, I'll go ahead and serve up the Asian stir-fried vegetables. You can mix rice in with those if you wanted. I'm just going to do the plain vegetables and I'm gonna show you kind of how everything is plated up all together. All right, so here is my plate. This is about five ounces. Just I did weigh out one ounce and just mushrooms. So four ounces of ground beef, one ounce, or four, one ounce of mushrooms, four ounces of ground turkey. And then right here is two cups of the Asian stir fry with one tablespoon of the soyaki, which I believe is two points. So grand total of a six point dinner and it is perfect. So hopefully you guys like the idea of how I kind of incorporated the different recipes for two different ways of eating. I know many houses are like mine where, you know, everybody kind of eats a different way and we just kind of have to work around that. And that's basically what I did here and what I do mostly every night. So if you guys liked this recipe and you recreate it, um, I would love to let you, let me know how you liked it. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, everything is linked below. I'll put my handle right here. So if you do recreate it, take a picture tag me in it. I'd love to see it. But all right, guys, you guys have a great one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Take it easy. Right now I'm standing in a corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh.